Hey folks, welcome to Tuesdays with Stories. This episode is brought to you by Lucy. Hey, fellas, you're a responsible consumer and you want a responsible way to consume your nicotine, don't you? If you're looking for nicotine gum, lozenges, or pouches to use nicotine to relax, focus, or just unwind after a long day, there's only one stop you should make. It's Lucy. Lucy is the best. Hey, I love nicotine. I was smoking three cigars a day down in uh, Key West. It's fun. But this is a much safer way to do it. If you've been looking for an alternative to smoking, why not switch to nicotine product that you can feel good about? This is a product you can feel good. They sent us some stuff. We sent it to some friends. They loved it. You're going to love it. If you enjoy using nicotine, you should definitely check out Lucy's products at lucy.co. That's lucy.co and use promo code TUESDAYS at checkout. Also, I have to read this disclaimer. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Remember, if you're interested in a better way to use nicotine, visit lucy.co and be sure to use that promo code TUESDAYS. It's time for the show. Hey, Mark, fake banter for the intro. That's all I know how to do. Great. Good to be here. Welcome to Tuesdays with... Stories. Hit her in the face with a surfboard. And then the duck fell out of his bag. (laughs) Surf's up. And she didn't even flush. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mark Norman and Joe List. Yeah! This is Tuesdays with Stories, everybody. No, that's terrible. This is supposed to be cheesy. My radio is spitting at me. Hey, folks! Welcome to the studio. Tuesdays with stories. The the house is all wallpaper. Oh no, the wallpaper's not over the wires. What? They hate the wires. Oh Oh, my god, they hate the wires. I kind of like that they hate the wires. Yeah, suck it. We can't please them all. That's what Cosby said. Uh, yeah, the wires are there, but the wallpaper's up. We're in the studio. The cat's dead. By the way, I'm getting all this shit. Being the, the studio is List's idea. He doesn't like the cat. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna kill the cat. Stuff it. Put it right here. I want to wear it on my head like fucking The Revenant. Yeah, like a Davy Crock. I didn't want to do the studio. I liked the house. I pushed back against the studio. Now I like the studio. We got three antique Jews that can hear every word we say. Oh, yeah, Holocaust Jews. These guys are old as shit. They hate us. They're, they're in the, they, they, they know Putin. I don't know. It's, it's bad. We, the, 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 we can't get a hello out of everybody. Everybody's wearing masks. They can hear us say queef a mile away. By the way, everything that's made the pod better, I was against. Video, uh, <laughs> audio. I didn't want it to be audio. I didn't want it to be video. I didn't want the studio. I didn't want uh, clips. I didn't want YouTube. You got to do it all. It's a nightmare. Nobody wants to do the shit, but you got to do the shit. It's, it's, oh, ads. It I remember I was like, we're not going to do ads. We're above that. We're better than that. And then they were like, we'll give you six bucks if you say my father's name. And I was like, I tattooed it on my forehead. Done. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Love your father. Uh, by the way, Fanny's like, would you mind doing nine ads? I'm like, make it 20. I don't yeah, give a bring shit. bring it on. DraftKings, everybody. Yeah. Me undies. Fuck that. They're like, okay, just a heads up. DraftKings you know, makes people poor. They sure. take their house. They're fighting against uh, the Ukraine. I'm Great. Like, well, that's their problem. We're in. Yeah, they, there's a lot of shit going on in China that nobody cares about. Doesn't it feel like that's weird? Like, yeah. You know, these Uyghurs and the uh, slavery and the Muslims and the, the Apple iPhone kids jumping out of a window. Yeah, it's bad stuff over there, but uh, I think we save money because they make the stuff. So you get a few bucks or something like those, that. Those little fingers, we need them. And uh, hey, I think they said an iPhone would be like twelve grand if it if it didn't have the kids cooking them. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Well, I'm willing to watch a few kids die for a cheaper phone. But sure. I, I say it before, I'll say it again, I'll shove it in my ass and see if you come. I, the phone is the greatest bargain on the planet. It's a good bargain. Even if it's 900, they, they, we sh- these things should be cost 50,000. I'm using oh, yeah. it seven hours a day, I'm shooting porn on it, I text yep. my mother the porn, yes. uh, you know, I got the compass, the other thing. Sure, I mean, yeah, the calculator, the tip <laughs> divider, send me the porn, by the way. <laughs> it's crazy, oh, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, you can shoot a movie with these things, you got my date book, I got every joke I ever wrote, I got YouTube, I got Twitter, I got Instagram, it's... It's a little office mate in one. It's a Palm Pilot. It is a Palm Pilot, and uh, the pilot's in the audience. The p- 
Great television program. Hell of a show. And what the, a show. The Larry David doc is, uh, is out soon, so we can't wait. Yeah, it's out now if you're listening. We can't reveal that we recorded in advance. I got a guy threatening to bomb my house because we recorded one two days in advance. Well, I think we're the only podcasters who read the comments, listen to the tweets, listen to the the feedback, because other people just live their life. The Theo Vaughn's having a great time with his feet up, beating out a girl with cowboy boots on, and we're sitting there going, he hated this, the soundboard, the cat, the couch, what are we doing? And I'm like, ah, let's just ride it into the sunset. Who's got the boots, Theo or the girl? I think the girl. I was picturing uh, her with cowboy boots uh-huh. naked, which is kind of hot. I don't like cowboy boots and shorts. Never liked the look. It looks mm. goofy. I like shorts and heels. Now that's a look. Ah, uh, heels, uh, heels on a, in a clan hood works. I mean, just heels all day. Step on my my dick feels but yeah i mean also i don't read the con the, the youtube comments i can't i haven't read those since 85 because those they are all, bad ah, i read them so today sure. they like you they hate you they like me they hate me chuck's fat nah, no one hates me you you can't you oh, can't fool it's me it's in there it's in you there you can't fool me they hate me but that's all right what are you gonna do george is saying cut it it's all pipes but a lot of these are direct messages. No, oh. they just email me, like my email, Jerry. That hurt. Wait, you, what, you giving out your Gmail? It's out there. You can, it's out there, Jerry, and I'm loving it. You can find it on the Twitter and the Instagram. I only have one email. What do you got? The secret email? I think so. Wait a minute. No one's emailing me. Yeah, well, they don't hate you. I'm getting DMs. DMs, I get, but I'm not getting an email. By That's the way, terrifying. Somebody sent me a set of bosoms. It was pretty thrilling. What? Chuck. <laughs> Wow. He sent me everything but that. Well, like, send in more tits. What are we doing? How come he's getting tits? See, I'd rather get a little hate and some tits than uh, no hate and no tits. I'm getting like 70 hates to one tit. I mean, I got one tit ever. Hate is just all day, every day. I don't know. It might he be worth me. it. It's two tits, by the way. A pair, yeah. Yeah, it's a pair. Two pair. Paradise. I got two, tic- two tits to paradise. I got... Two tits to paradise. Who's that, Eddie Money? Eddie Money. Yes. Somebody doesn't like the studio, but I think the, the show is really <laughs> popped off because before I was very self-conscious. We were uh, occupying your home and uh, the cat. Yes, yes. The home is tough. I got the lady folding laundry, uh, fingering herself to the Tim Dillon pod while we're in there shouting about uh, anals. I know. I always just think, oh, God, she's in the other room, the other side of the wall, being like, these are retards. I I'm know. marrying this fucking idiot. Oh, my I God. know. Who would marry us? Every once in a while, Sarah will say something that I'm like, ah, that hurt. Yeah. She's yeah. like, you know, the, you do the jizz podcast or whatever. Oh, like, oh. that's pretty good. <laughs> that's funny. That's um, pretty good. I, I agree. I mean, it's amazing their vaginas get moist in any fashion for our faces and our vagina and our dicks. Well, I got a balloon of lube. I mean, I squeeze oh. it all over. It's a big oh. Tweety the Bird birthday balloon That'll filled with lube, you. and I squeeze it. Tweety the Bird? I think it's Tweety Bird. I don't know if you need the the. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> Tweety the Accountant. <laughs> Tweety the District Attorney. I'm just doing That's Seinfeld's I mean, bit. That, that bit sounds a little familiar, yeah. but... Um, <laughs> Tweety uh, the uh, the lieutenant colonel. Well, his name is Tweety Bird. Yes. So we but we got the bird. I understand, but like you're making fun of me for saying Tweety the bird. Uh huh. But his name is Tweety Bird. But it's like saying uh, Road Runner the Coyote. No wait, Road, road? the Runner. No, no, that's, what no, I was that's no say. good. Road Runner the bird that runs. What is a Road Runner? It's a bird. Oh, yeah, I've seen one, but they're not as, uh, spectacular. I thought it was going to have long legs and save things, like well, Meep Meep. The cartoon ruined it, because you see one, it's kind of like a vagina. The first time you see a vagina, you're like, whoa, that looks different than the uh, my mom's. But the Roadrunner, it's about this tall, and it's not that fast. Yeah, it just kind of it just runs, I guess. What's with these birds that can't fly? I know. Yeah, what is that? Uh, chickens? No wonder you're getting your heads cut off. Roosters, penguins. Oh, penguin. Uh, what's the other? The pink one. Flamingos. Flamingo. Their 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 diet makes them pink, and they're gay. Flamingo to hell. What do they eat? Pussy. Shrimp. <laughs> really? No, they're gay. They're not eating puss. Who eats? Their skin becomes the color of what they eat. They start. They they start out white, and then they turn pink from eating shrimp. Yeah, that's I should all be, they eat. Uh, Washington Redskin, because I'm eating marinara and ketchup. That's like it's, true. Uh, like I'm going to the electric chair. I should be brown. I eat a lot of uh, gravy and vegetable soup. And Chris Allen that one time. Oh yeah, that's why it opens for me. But uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. That is weird that they turn in. You are what you eat. 
Chris will just hit me with a heavy text, by the way. Well, just a, but it just drops a bomb, a heavy, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, I'm washing the dishes. Yeah, yeah. He's, like, he's, he's an emotional guy. Give me a couple jokes to lube me up. Use the Tweety the Bird to lube me before you hit me with, like, uh, you know, my wife's leaving me or whatever. Right, right. That's an example. I don't want to make it seem like he's getting divorced. He's oh, boy. Great. No, he's got a good marriage, but yeah, yeah. He'll, uh, he, he likes to go right in. He, uh, he doesn't, he's dry anal. There's no lube. I'll tell you what text I send to him exclusively. One time he told me he wasn't into Elizabeth Hurley. He said she what? wasn't attractive. So every time she posts on Instagram, I send it right over there. This this is quite a dame, this lady. She's like 64 Unreal. years old. I, I, I wish that uh, my mother was this hot. Still looking good? You can't even believe it. Go I, on to ElizabethHurley.com or whatever it's called. Pull the Instagram. Up. Pull it up. We don't have anything to pull it up on. Remember we used to have that? Oh, yeah. That was a hot minute. That was back in the day. Yeah, but see, here's what you can't tell a black friend. You can't go, Serena Williams, I don't see it. They go, what? Uh, it's like you said the N-word at a Tyler Perry movie. They go crazy, and they're like, what are you crazy? Look at that ass. I'm like, I don't know. It's just not my cup. She'd, she'd break me in half. No, Serena stinks. I mean, I think she's attractive, but it's a lot of lady. Yeah, no, that's not that's not my cup of tea. I mean, Naomi Osaki, her I can, oh, get, behind. I can get behind her. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I can't actually the sure. arrest me, but I'd like to. No, she can hold my balls and serve them. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, we'll keep it in line. Novak. Novak? Yes. Yeah. Djokovic. You're going to die. Now, here's the thing about him. Everybody hates him right now. He won't get vaxxed. He won't get vaxxed. But... I think in two years it'll they'll forget it when he wins another whatever. Cup. Yeah, well, if they let him play, I don't know if he's going to be able to play, and he's willing to risk the thing. And I, I think we talked about it off air. So I, I read the comments on these things, and someone's like, "So what do we care? Why are you telling us?" And I'm like, "You know, he didn't walk into the newspaper and say, hey, 'Hey, I'm not going to play in the tournament.' Yeah, he's a, he's a famous guy. Yes, that's why we care. Yes, and, and you care enough to read it and comment. Exactly, you care." Well, here's my question about the vaccine, and feel free to kick me right in the clit, but... Oh, boy. Where are we going here? I just want to I just want to make sure I got it. I got the vax. I got the boost, all sure. that. I play, I'm playing ball, but <laughs> he won't get it. The vaccine, all it does is lower your symptoms when you get COVID. Right. So if he won't get it, why does that bother them? It would just lower his symptoms, and he's a healthy guy. He's obviously in peak physical condition. Certainly. Sure, certainly. Certainly. Where's the shirt? And then, so if he doesn't get the vaccine, why does that bother other people? He just will have worse symptoms. Is it like a hospital thing? Well, I guess they think the mutate, it mutates more if you're not vaxxed. Then other people think the opposite. The truth is, I don't really understand either. I yeah. feel the same way. I don't get it. But if you say it, my God, they paint swastikas on your forehead and yeah. they throw dog shit in your tits because... But uh, the guy, this is my thing with Djokovic. First of all, he had it. Second of all, he's the healthiest person on the planet. Exactly. And I've read a, a good amount about the guy. As you know, I'm a tennis fanatic, which is just a fan, isn't it? It is. It's, it's a, a short version. Yeah. But fanatic has taken over as, like, bigger. It's true. Isn't that funny how that works? You're like, I'm a sports fan. You're like, I'm a sports fanatic. Right. You know which one's the bigger fan. But it's the same thing. Yeah. It's like saying he's a religious fanatic. But if you said he's a religious fan, that would be funny. Yeah, I'm a yeah, fan yeah. of religion. Just a fan. I have a flag. I go to the games. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Fanatic is like, ah! pedophilia. <laughs> yeah, <Or> whatever. exactly. <laughs> uh, the same thing. But anyway, yeah, he like measures his food, and he's, he spends four hours a day stretching, and yes. he's got, you know, he's got three uh, nutritionalists and all the shit, mm. and he's like, I don't know, I don't, I don't put anything out in my body outside of this regimen yes my so, body's a temple like a jew who gives a shit i don't i don't get it either i don't get it and look I, i'm not trying to push back everybody goes hey what are you a proud boy all right i'm like no 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 i got the vaccine i just want to know why you don't you know they go well you don't have the vaccine go get away from me i'm like well what does it matter about you he's just gonna have worse symptoms shelby's got two pennies over there it stops the spread too but like does know, it? it's not like 100 percent. like just you know you can still get it if you, but it's still, you know, it that helps. slows the spread. Yeah. So maybe if he gets it and he has less sim, he'll, he'll heal faster, so then he won't give it to someone else. He, uh, he won't, like, be on a ventilator if he gets it. He could still be like, holy shit, I'm in bed, but he's like, you're not going to die. So, and then it could, it stops the, uh, it helps him not spread it, too. If he's even if he's just you know walking around fine, it well, makes him less contagious. I gotta say, I mean, I was uh, va double vaxxed and boosted, and that spread like a wildfire across my whole family, who was all boosted. But they're all alive, you know. 
Yes, certainly they're alive, but uh, all these tennis guys are going to be alive. But hey, why? Well, you know, I, I think he'll live if he gets it. Oh yeah, but he might spread it to someone who won't live. Is what you're saying? That's true. I see. Okay, yeah. but he could still spread it if he had the. It vaccine. helps it not spread, but it's not like a hundred percent. Like, oh okay, all right. Well, hey, I'm, I'm just curious because I, I want it to be good. I got the fucking thing. I'm just asking questions. Yeah. Well, anyways, I'd like to see him play. But, oh boy, uh, Neil Young you just unsubscribed. <laughs> <laughs> and Joan Baez or whatever. I'd like to Jody see Mitchell. the guy uh, play some tennis. I don't give a shit. They should. Uh, they, shouldn't they vote on it? The tour should vote. That would make more sense to like me. Like the fans, the 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 tour, the people on the tour, the, the players. Ah, oh, the players. He's in the locker room. Him. He's on the court. They should just do a vote because I yes. bet a lot of those players would be like, I don't give a fuck. Ah, I'm vaxxed. I'm boosted. I'm the healthiest guy on the planet. Sure. I mean, these are. The healthiest athletes on planet Earth to me, these tennis players. Of course, of course. And so is Rogan and Aaron Rodgers, both very healthy. Uh, yeah. yeah, I would say, but the tennis players, even more even than more. those guys. Even yeah. more, yeah. I mean, they're up uh, there. They talk about cardio. Eat, eat, eat. Back and forth all day with that ball. A lot of back and forth. Mm-hmm. But any jizz, we're bo- I'm going to get a couple more boosts. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Shoot it right in my asshole. I had a great time. I Put it in it. me. I'm, I'm with you. Yeah, it feels good. You feel like you're doing something. You're in line. There's an Asian guy with a mask. He's, he's pricking you. It's fun. But you also have to respect the guy that's like, all right, I just won't play. I don't give a shit. I do. I mean, I respect the balls, and he knows he's going to get a world of shit. We get two tweets. We jerk each other off and, and cry into the into the sunset. But this guy's like, eh, whatever. I'll, I'll get yelled at. Yeah. I, 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 I respect myself, and I have opinions, and I stick with them. I don't understand it. I, this is how I look at it. And this is I'll get all kinds of shit yeah. for this. It's similar with guns to me. I wish that nobody wanted a gun, mm. but... We got an amendment. I mean, you got to be able to have guns. People got to shoot their uh, parents. They got to shoot sure. themselves. They got to shoot the bulls. The so classmates. I, I'm not going to get a gun, but you guys got to. You get guns. That's the law. People like Go guns. Get the guns. I, I wish you didn't want a gun, but you got a gun, so everyone's got a gun. Whatever. Right. I'm personally, I don't want it. I'm not for it, and I wish no one else had one. But that's not the way. I don't get to rule the world. Yes. Same with the vaccine. I like the vaccine. I wish everyone would get the vaccine. But if you don't want the vaccine, don't get the vaccine. What do I give a shit? Well, yeah, we live in a uh, free society. You can make your own decision. Look, if you're hurting someone else, I get it. Like, if you have a gun and you go around shooting people at school. Well, that's illegal. That's illegal and bad news. Against the rules. But if you have a gun and you like to look at it and you go to the, the range on the weekends and shoot your dad and all that, great. <laughs> Chris go Allen. for it. Yeah. Uh, but I think their argument is not getting the vaccine does hurt people. That's the case they're making. Yeah, which I, if that's true, that then get it. But I don't get how it hurts people. Yeah, I think, uh, well, what Shelby said there. but um, Yeah, but then, show you seem a little hesitant about it. And also, it. it's like, can you make somebody get a medical thing they don't want? Right, right. But, I mean, the other vaccines are required, the measles and the meeples and the moop, whatever the fuck, when you're a kid. Are they those shove required? that right in your ass. I believe so in oh. public schools. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. So I don't know. We're losing everybody. I can tell you that right now. Uh, we'll, this we'll is pick not it back what they up. want to tune in. They'll email all of us. They won't email you. Everything you say is great. They'll email me that I'm a piece of shit. Maybe change that email. Maybe that's the move. Uh, maybe it will. Maybe it'll be, I'll change it to Joe List Drama. Uh-huh. Uh, hotmail. Hot tits. I'll tell you. I'm well, not Shelby, Im- they're going to find him and fucking oh, burn yeah. his house down. You're ruined. <laughs> I'm not immune to the insults. They still hurt. I need to lower those symptoms. But we'll figure it out. Hey, how about this? Oh, boy. I, uh, sorry, I'm foggy. I'm, I'm having a foggy day, <laughs> folks. Could be from the vaccine. Ah, oh, jeez. Symptoms, He's side got... effects. By the way, some of the anti-vax people, we, we haven't touched on them. A lot of them are big old retards. Oh, we got to make that clear. Yeah. I don't want to oh, make yeah. it sound like we're, uh, you know. No, no, no. I'm just, uh, I'm just I read curious. some of these, uh, these tweets, these articles. They're dipshits. They think yeah. everyone's dying. They right. think a third of the people have died. It's really embarrassing. They make you gay. Yeah, it's weird because the, it's the similar two sides of the same anal. You know, these guys are like, if you don't get the vaccine, you're going to die in your sleep and your dad's dead and I'm gay and all this. And then other people are like, if you get the vaccine, you're, de- you're going to die in your sleep so you're like you guys sound very similar i think that's called horseshoe politics ah is that what that is you bend so far that you're actually closer to each other than you think right right like hey i'm very progressive so we should segregate you know and you're like wait what how'd we get back to segregation i do think it's a pretty fair argument the pro-choice argument is my body my choice so yes. if you're making that case i know I do that's feel tough. like 
you got to go with that on the vaccine. Am I insane on that? No, I mean that, that the, seems pretty. It adds up. It lines up perfectly. Yeah, I mean, but they say you you have an abortion. That's my my kid, my choice. You get the vaccine. Now you're hurting me. Right. It's like secondhand smoke. Well, what if that baby uh, cured uh, AIDS? Well, I might get AIDS someday. But that baby could also be Hitler. With AIDS. Right. But I, I would make the same argument with the secondhand smoke as the fat guy on the plane. Now you're into my seat. So this is secondhand fat. <laughs> I'm just You're saying. not going to die from the secondhand fat. Wow. Unless it sits on your face for a couple days. Have you ever heard of a guy dying from secondhand smoke? You always say secondhand smoke, but no one's ever like, what'd he die of? Secondhand. Well, I think that people have probably gotten something. I don't know. But uh, my uncle went to the uh, fire academy. They gave him a physical, and they were like, how long have you been smoking for? Mm. And he's like, I've never smoked a cigarette in my life. But his grandmother, my grandmother, oh, his mother, right? smoked 48 packs a day. So there's something to be okay. said about this uh, secondhand smoke. All right. I take it back. See, that's all I want is you give me info, I'll change my mind. I'm a mind changer. But also, I think I read this set before. Only about 10% of people that smoke for decades get cancer. Ah! So what percentage of secondhand smokers are getting cancer? I'd say way less, 1%. Because you think about all these people that you know that have smoked. For I, Tom Dustin, I was going to talk about him. We just had him on. I mean, I just uh, was with him. Yeah. He smokes a pack of cigarettes a day since I've known him, which is 20 years. Yeah. No Doing cancer. Right. No cancer, yeah. yeah and, he's out jet skiing and gallivanting. Right. He's running a hell of a show in the Keys. And not to mention, they say your cell phone, red meat, eating ass, whatever it is, it all gives you cancer. And you're like, I do that at all three of those every day. Oh, boy. This is a, this is a funky right. one. I mean, we might have to just start over from yeah, the beginning. Yeah, delete the whole terrible. thing. They're going to think we're assholes. We might as well say the N-word now and just get it in there. What's fun is I'll get shit from left and right. I get crushed from both sides. It's, I think that's really means astounding. That means you're doing something right. If you're I getting think shit so. from both sides. I don't know. I'll watch a Bill Burr clip and you read the comments like this lefty pussy bitch libtard cum guzzling cuck, and then the other one is like this proud boy alt right uh, piece of shit storm the Capitol. I bet you know you're like. Well, how did that? How'd you get both of those? I have it all the time. Go, I hang out with my here in New York. People are like, "You're a right wing Nazi conservative <laughs> yes, asshole." Yes. I go hang out with my family. They're like, "Oh, here comes Mister Liberal right. cut piece of shit." I get that on the road. Don't you feel like you go to uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana? They're like, "Look at this." Cuck. And I'm like, what? And then you do the same act in Brooklyn. They're like, oh, boy, here comes David Duke. No, I get an astounding amount of tweets calling me a, a lib, cuck, piece of shit. I'm, yeah. like, I'm like a pretty moderate Democrat here. I mean, I don't know. I'm an independent, actually. But Oh, is that right? I've always been indie. I'm an indie guy. Indiana Jones. But I've never voted for a Republican. But now we're getting a little outside of our uh, zone here. Got to get back in the zone. Love a zone. But people, I'm like... Whatever. I like, people call it. They're like, I'm like, have you listened to our show? I know. They're like, you left wing piece of shit. I'm like, the people you're talking about would shoot me in the face yeah, exactly. if they listened to five minutes of this podcast. People just make you what they want you to be so they can hate you. Just, they, they justify a way to hate you, but you're like, you're wrong. And they're like, ah, I'm going to keep you that way so I can. It still validates my opinion. Yeah. Well, Anyways, let, this is this. Is let goofy. me get back we're, to we're what I was, I was trying to say there before you brought it into a political uh, roundtable. But. You're right, it was me. Let's talk more about Djokovic not wanting the vaccine. Hey, folks, Tuesdays with Stories is thrilled to welcome our new sponsor, Fanimal. As you know about me from listening to the show, I love live events, but I hate buying tickets. The hidden fees suck, and coordinating with friends is also a nightmare. I always end up fronting a bunch of money and chasing down my friends to get reimbursed. If they flake, I'm stuck with the whole bill. But then I discovered Fanimal. Fanimal has tickets to everything, and there are no fees. The price you see is the price you pay. Great Springsteen song. You can go see him. Not only are the prices transparent, but they're almost always lower than anywhere else I look. And for any hot ticket like Coachella or a Lakers game or a Celtics game or Dave Chappelle, Fanimal is the always cheapest option. Nobody goes to a live events alone, so why buy tickets alone? Fanimal's patented group purchase makes it easy. First, you set a minimum size for your group and choose the number of tickets you want to pay for yourself. Then you invite friends. When the minimum size is met, everyone gets charged and receives their ticket. What a great system. If the minimum size isn't reached on time, nobody gets charged. 
Oh, yeah, and Fanimal has amazing customer service. Don't take my word for it. Check out their hundreds of five-star reviews. The next time you need tickets, go to Fanimal.com and sign up with Tuesdays for $20 off credit toward your first purchase. Check out Fanimal and experience more. Hey, Tuesdays with Stories is brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. Are you ready to feel the excitement of the conference championships like never before? Turn your team's victory into your own big win with DraftKings Sportsbook. New customers can bet $5 on any team to win and get $200 in free bets if they do. It's that simple. If they win, you win. Illinois listeners, we have some big news. Mobile registration is back. And right now, you can sign up for DraftKings Sportsbook simply by downloading the app right to your phone. If Sportsbook isn't available in your state yet, you can still join the action on DraftKings Pools, and everyone can play free all March long for a shot at over $250,000 in prizes. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code TUESDAYS, bet $5 on any college hoops team to win, and get $200 in free bets if they do. If they win, you win with promo code TUESDAYS this week at DraftKings Sportsbook. 21 and over. Restrictions apply. See show notes for details. Well, I got to tell you, I went and saw the apartment. The Fixer Upper. Ah, The Fixer Upper. I thought you meant the uh, the film. Oh, no. With Jack Lemmon. Mm-hmm. Best picture, 1960. 60, yeah. So, uh, great film, by great the way. film. He's a hell of an actor. Very funny. Him and Walter Matha, one of the good duos, one of the great duos. Ah, we're better than them. I agree. So, I go to the apartment. Now we meet the owner. Oh boy! Now this is trouble. I'm scared to even say it because he might hear this and and nuke me. But so once you buy it, then you're the owner. Yes. Or he continues to own. And you rent? No, no, no. We own. You buy. I'm buying. Trying to buy. I don't know how it works. Does he get the money? Yes. Okay. It's his place. But he owns a ton of shit. He's one of these guys. Little, little used car salesman mm. uh, Turkish fella. You know, he's my friend, my friend. And he cuts uh. you off, and he's, he's, he's fake nice, and he's fake charming, but he's just, like, steamrolling you the whole time. And you're polite, and you're a human being, so you're like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Then you try to talk, and he's like, what the, yes, yes, what is, okay, so here, we need new wall here, we do that. And I'm like, well, what kind of wall are you going to put up? And he's like, my friend, we have it, don't worry. No, no worry for you. We got it. And you're like, I just need to know. Like, can we get a window here? No, window, extra money. You don't want window, outside bad. You, you like wall. I'm like, wait, what? And he just keeps going, and eventually mm. you just give up. So we go meet him. This guy's a real piece of work. We go meet him at his place in bed He's got a big realtor business. Sure. Me and the lady go out there. We said, I will meet at 1. Great. We get there. I get the text from his assistant. He's not going to be there at 145 now. He's busy. And I'm like, oh. So now we're like, well, let's go get a bite. So we finally show up at his place at 145. He doesn't get there till 2. He comes in. Hello. Sorry about that. You know, New York City crazy. Ho, ho. Hey, hey. Ha, come back to my, my, my office. And we sit in the office. He's like, here's what you want. Here's why we can't do it. Here's what we can do. And you're just like, ah! And he's just totally, you know, just bulldozing the whole conversation. And then he goes, well, how about this? Why don't we go to place? We talk it out. And I'm like, ah! So the lady has a job. She's a nine-to-fiver. So she's like, you're already an hour late. Now we're going to drive there. We could have just met there. So this guy's a real coos. Yeah, he stinks. But it's weird because you were like, oh, I don't want to deal with this guy. But once you buy the place, you don't have to deal with him. That's the right? thing. So let me just give you. A, let me just lay it all out. The place is a is a, a certain price, but it's uh, it's not fixed. So he's saying for this price, I will give you the place and I will fix it, but it's going to be bare bones, like shitty work. Mm. Not shitty work, but it's going to be like the lowest common denominator. Whatever I got to do to just get by to code. Okay, but I'm not going to make it nice. I'm not going to. Who knows if the water will work? Who knows if the toilet will flush? Who knows <laughs> if you, if the air conditioning will work? That's what he's saying, basically. Okay. So I'm just like trying to reason with this guy, but he's so he's so slimy and, and, and quick that I can't. Mm. He's better than me at, at this negotiating thing. He's a, he's a he's a mover and a shaker. I'm I'm a comedian, right? So I could maybe get a zinger in there, and he's like, I don't understand. Joke, no, keep moving, whatever. And I'm right. like, ah, shit, I got nothing on this guy. And so the lady will talk, and he's like, we don't listen to women. Put on burka, whatever. And I'm like, ah, shit. So. I'm texting my guy, my realtor dweeb, mm-hmm. and I'm like, dude, this guy's killing me. He's calling me my friend. I can't keep up. He's, he's, he's bitching at me. He's saying all this crazy shit, and he goes, I'm on the way. 
Like, yes! wow, on the way. That's hot. So we are on our way. We're in this guy's Porsche on the way to the building, to the place. Which guy's place? Wait, the, what? We, we went to his office. Uh, now he's like, we should go see the house. And the turkey has a Porsche. Yes. Wow. I'm telling you, this guy's got 28 units all over the city. So where's May? Is she tied to the she's, roof? She's in with me. She's oh, in the back a, seat. It's a double seater. It's a, the big Porsche, the uh, the the SUV. Oh, I hate this guy. Oh, hate that car. I hate this guy. He's got eight rings. He's got uh, oh. you know an earring. He's got jeans with stuff on them, like tears and jewels. Oh. I mean, this guy's all in. Oh, so he's like a young guy. Nah, he's probably 50 years old. He's got two he's kids. He's 50 with the jeans oh, and things? Oh, he's Turkish. Oh, my God. God, I've yes. been to Turkey. Yeah, I go want to quit this guy cold turkey, but he's just, he's in the car like, oh, you remind me of my son. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm like, ah, oh, what are we doing here? I'm like, we just want to buy a place that we don't we don't want to deal with this, but this is part of it. So we get to the house. He unlocks the door. There's eight Mexican guys working. They scurry. They see him, and they're like, ah, you know, it's like roaches. And so he's like, well, right here. We put up wall. I'm like, well, no, we like it open air. They're like, no, no, wall good. You need more room because he gets to sell it for more bedrooms. Like, Whatever. There's all these tricks. I hate the tricks. Hate the tricks. So I like Fruit Loops. We're in there, and well, tricks are for kids. And we, we get in good there, point. and I'm just like, ah, I'm overwhelmed. I'm, my head is spinning, and then... My dweeb shows up. Oh, I love the dweeb. Love the dweeb. And he's like, wait, what? No, we can't do that. You agreed to this. We have an approved list of what you're going to do. And he's like, never read list. He's like, well, you approved it. And he's like, oh, no. Oh, maybe we can't sell to you. And now he's backpedaling. And, the guy, and my guy's like, no, no. And I'm like, hallelujah. Like, I wanted to blow yes. him. I understand women who like this shit because <laughs> I like it. I understand women. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just like, uh, thank God you're here. And I'm like, you see what I'm dealing with? And he's like, I had no idea. It was this crazy. And it was just so relieving because he was pushing back. And every time I would push back, he'd go, no, no. And he makes you feel stupid. And you're like, maybe he's right. I'm wrong. He's the pro. I'm an idiot. This is like a club owner. It's just why we have agents. It's, it's this, yes. this brand of person who we're surrounded by in this office, by the way. Yes. I love those guys. They're sharks. They're sharks. And he had a, he was a shark. And I got my Mako. I got a tiger or whatever. The great white. A tiger shark. A what? Great white's. Well, that'll probably go away. Yeah, I would imagine so. Yeah, it'd have it's to be shirt. mediocre white right. or like uh, you shouldn't be allowed white. to vote white yeah. or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mansplain white, whatever it is. So my guy and him are just button heads, and it's great, but now we might not get the place. Ah. Because he's like, oh, I thought I was going to do bullshit work, and now you want real work. I don't know. I'll sell to someone else. I could get $5 million tomorrow for this. And my, my guy's like, $5 million? Come on. He's like, I could do it. Bip, bip, bip. So is there an option to buy the house for the cheaper without him doing anything, and then you guys just hire your own queef to get another shark? You get a, a construction shark. We're gonna. Well, I'm going tomorrow to meet a construction shark, but... At the price where where he's offering, we should get a, a working home, right? And it's not that yet. There's holes in the floor. There's no banister. There's wires dangling everywhere. So we should get a decent home for what we're paying. But he's saying, "You want this? Now it goes up. Oh, you want that? Now it goes up." And we're like, "We want a toilet, right? Like, you gotta have a toilet. Yeah, we need one toilet in this place." So he's kind of like, "Ooh, a toilet. E, that's going to be a lot of work. Pipes. That's all pipes. You know, water spinning. Shit." go down all this shit so it's tough it he's, is a real real finagle here he's like david putty keys they get it started yeah exactly he's a little used car so god it's a nightmare and here's what we think we just want to get in the place because the place is beautiful it's got good bones as they say yeah. and it's in a great location right by the subway right by the park in fort green and we want it so we're almost like let's just get in there and we'll put our own fucking toilet in. I'll put some gloves on and overalls and become a lesbian and I'll install everything. Right. Boy, this is so exciting. But they say it's the most stressful thing in the world is to buy a home. Oh. Because you're picturing it. You got your photos on the couch. We'll put an L shape. We'll have a Super Bowl party. No one will come. The whole thing. Exactly. So, uh, boy, it's exciting. I hope you get it. But fuck this guy. I know. It's tough. But you, you just deal with it and then you want to just... Get it done and move on with your fucking life. Then in two years, you're going to look back and go, remember that fucking Turkish queef? That was a whole rigmarole. Yeah, you never ever remember. Everything passes. Passes. Yes. So that's what I'm doing. I'm pushing through, and we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> but he, he would have gotten one over on me if I didn't have the dweeb, and thank God I didn't go with the hot realtor. 
Remember oh, the hot right. guy? Yeah, I remember the he hot guy. He tried to swoop in. The hot guy would have been useless. He would have been like, I like those jeans. Where'd you get those? You know, he would have been <laughs> shit. Hot guy swoop. Yes. Good. I love a good dweeb. I love those guys. They just know it because that's us with comedy. Yes. We know comedy. We know comedy. They know finagling and, and working or whatever. Yeah, and their thing is way more useful. Sure, we make a buck on the road. We go to some little rinky-dink club and uh, tell our yuckety yuck yucks, but... These guys are men, Jerry. Yeah. They come in there and they are, it's like two bulls or two rams, button heads, mm. and I get to watch and I'm like, oh, thank God. I'm like the lady, you know, with the towel, like, oh. They're so, men with jobs, Jerry. Yes. Very exciting. Yeah, that's great news. Well, how, when do you find out what happens next? I, I mean, think by next week we'll know. So we'll keep the, the queefs posted, the gays and uh, the who's and the what's and the wiggles, but we'll see what happens. I mean, it's why You're going to be like George Bailey over there with a wow. house with a loose knob yes, and a thing yes. and the piano and right. uh, the other thing. I think it's haunted. There's like a, a Malaysian family in the, in the attic, so Anne Frank, who knows? Uh, was she Malaysian? Ah, no, I don't think so. It's weird that Malaysian has Asian in it. Yeah, well, and so Mal is bad, right? Oh, malfunction, Mal Asian, Mal Asian. That's a bad Asian. What about a cock Asian? That's got Asian in it as well. <laughs> that's and a, a cock. cock. That's a cock with a massive dick, I think, <laughs> I, which is rare. Hey, folks, Tuesdays with Stories is brought to you by Native Deodorant. Who has the time to read that long list of ingredients on the back of the bottle of deodorant? Some ingredients I can't even pronounce. If you care about what goes into your body, then it's time you've tried Native. Every Native product is thoughtfully formulated to keep you feeling and smelling fresh all day long. I'm wearing it right now. We got a bunch in the house. We just keep them in the medicine cabinet. I use it. The lady uses it. The smells are great. It feels good. It's good for you. This year, Native has something sweet in store for their customers with their new collaboration with Baked by Melissa. Woo! Wee! Made up of scents inspired by their signature cupcakes. The collection is available across all Native personal and care products. If you still haven't tried Native deodorant, here's all you need to know. It's aluminum-free, offers 24-hour odor protection, vegan and cruelty-free, and is made with naturally derived ingredients. Why wouldn't you want to smell delicious? With over 1,500 five-star reviews, it'll keep you fresh all day long. Smell and feel fresh all day with Native. Get 20% off your first order by going to native.com slash Tuesdays with Stories or use promo code Tuesdays with Stories at checkout. That's nativedeo.com slash Tuesdays with Stories or use promo code Tuesdays with Stories at checkout for 20% off your first order. Hey, hey, folks, Tuesdays with Stories is brought to you by Manscaped. You smell that? I think it's your gross, disgusting, filthy balls. Manscaped is sending you to the showers while you're the Manscaped. While you're there, Manscaped is turning men's shower dreams into their favorite routine with all the new ultra-premium collections. Save big by going to manscaped.com for 20% off, plus free shipping with the code TUESDAYS. You got that, folks? Get your day started by trimming those wayward hairs with the Waterproof lawnmower 4.0. I love that thing. It's got a goddamn light on it. Lather up the Cologne Infused Ultra Premium Body Wash with aloe vera and sea salt to keep your skin feeling clean and moisturized all day. Next, apply the 2-in-1 shampoo and conditioner that cleanses and nourishes in one step. Use it anywhere you got hair. Now, to keep that B.O. at bay, use their aluminum-free deodorant. It dries clear. Have tattoos or dry skin? Hit your skin with the hydrating body moisturizer spray. And before you step out the door, apply the Manscaped lip balm. Who told you to put the balm on? They're a free gift to you. Get 20% off, plus free shipping with the code TUESDAYS at manscaped.com. That's 20% off, plus free shipping at manscaped.com. And use code TUESDAYS. It's time to get wet and clean with your new Manscaped shower routine. Get on it, folks. Okay, so. Wow, that is wild stuff. Yeah, well, we'll figure it out, but I'm just keeping you abreast. Oh, I love abreast. Yeah, and a thigh. Now, you remember this? This morning, we got back. Sarah and I were in Key West. I'll get all into that. But You got we, back today? Well, last night. Okay. Yesterday. So we get back, and then uh, this morning... You know, I'm like, hey, why don't we, why don't we do a little fucking, little get back at it? You know, Another first thing in the morning. You know, 
So you fuck first thing in the morning, and it's great, and I come, I jizz, I feel great. Hell yeah. Because I'm having the, 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 the re-entering. It's like the uh, astronauts coming back to the atmosphere. Yeah. I'm in Key West for four days. It's 80 and sunny every day. I'm swimming in the ocean. It heals. I'm, I'm riding a bike everywhere at night. The shows are fun. I'm hanging out with Tommy Dustin, my best pal of all time. I mean, I've known the guy 25 years now. Great guy, funny guy. And uh, we're just having this great time. I'm smoking like three cigars a day. Woo! It was just delightful. You're living, baby. The sun is setting. It's purple. We had a back porch. They got a condo now. It's ah, amazing. You're like Hemingway out there. Don't it was kill yourself. Beautiful. I didn't write anything. Did he kill himself? Oh, no, shotgun to the head. No kidding. Good for him. Yeah, he earned it. Baby shoes for sale, never worn. So mm. I'm smoking the cigar. The sun is setting. And Hemingway. now I'm back in New York. And you have that like, ah. Oh, Back in New York, I got a podcast, yep. I got an email, yep. I got a, it's 40 degrees, the whole yep. thing, so I'm having a hard time readjusting. It hits you hard. So I'm like, let's fuck first thing in the morning, great sex, jizz, but then, do you ever have this? I'm like, now I lost the sex card. No. Because we're not going to fuck twice in a day. Maybe you fuck twice in a day. You could do that. Yeah, she's not fucking twice in a day. She's 85 years old. Yeah, good point. But you know, now I don't have any sex to look forward to. Ah. If I didn't have sex in the morning right now in the middle of the podcast, I'd be like, hey, I can go home and have sex. Right. That's but we're no, we're no twofers. I, I don't know about you. I mean, we've been together for 11 years. She's 75 years old. My dick is tiny. Yeah, we're not yeah, doing yeah. two in a day. Two in a day is no good. I mean, maybe if we're in the Bahamas or it's a wedding or sure. uh, she's asleep, whatever. Sure. But... But now I don't have the sex. I, you, you'd play it early in the game. It's like a board game. Right. Where you you're like, the blow me or whatever, the yes. slammer. And then later on, you're like, shit, I wish I had that still. Yeah. Does that make I, sense? I, it does, but I'm also like, but you got laid. I don't know. It feels like you, you're asking for a lot here. You got laid, and now you're like, oh, I can't get laid again. Well, it's the, it's the addict. It's the drug. It's like I did all the blow. Oh. And then at three in the morning, I'm like, I need another boost, but I got no boost. I did all the blow. You snorted the cunt. So it's like I, I was all blown up for the first half of the party, but now the party's dwindling. I'm getting sad again. It's right. cold. It gets dark early. The homeless on the train are still scary. Terrifying. You could fuck them, I guess. That <laughs> might help but yeah no you're right i get it i get it but you know what it's interesting what you you bring up because they always say eat the frog you heard this eat the frog yeah from and, frogger and the ass eat the fly is it eat the fly no from frogger, oh, the frogger yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah slippery pete <laughs> uh you look like a frog but he said Great eat show. the frog is some uh one of those Buddhist, uh, Asian, Malaysian, Caucasian sayings where they go, uh, eat the frog in the morning. Do the worst thing in the morning. Oh. And then your day is better. Just, it has to go up. No so kidding. So it's kind of like this brilliant, uh, you know, one of those motivational queefs has mm. the, the whole thing. But you did the opposite. You fucked the frog. Yeah. And so now your day is only going down because you started with jizzing. Yes, I jizzed. So Jizzed early. Yeah, you, you you jizzed all over the frog's face, and now you're, you you got nothing. That was fun. The idea, I like the idea of making animals eat your cum. That's kind of fun. Oh, I love that because a dog will eat it. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about it. You jizz on a couple Alpo cubes, he's going to go to town. All right. What's an like Alpo cube? You know, like a kibble and bit, kibble and jizz. Is it Alpo? That's one of the dog, dog foods. No, Urina, no Alpo, uh, the other one. Nabisco? No, that's a cracker. <laughs> You know, Nabisco is the two guys' names. They put them together. It's like John Naples and Bisky Bombshell or some shit. <laughs> That's Miramax, too. Is That's that right? Parents. It's Mira and Max was their parents. Ah. Yeah. Who named shit after their parents? Get a life. Yeah, wow, rapists, evidently. I guess, yeah, was it? Oh, yeah, that's him. He's a bad seed. What can you do? But <laughs> yeah, Bad dick, apparently, I heard. No, no kidding. He had a weird dick. Ah. Uh. So did Epstein. And Hitler had one ball. So maybe there's something with, with weird dicks. Yeah, I guess so. we got to stop body shaming. Oh, yeah, the dick will really... Women will talk about an uncircumcised dick and be like, oh, it was so gross, it was hideous. But then if you call them fat, they're like, you're a piece of shit. I'm like, you just destroyed that hood, that hoodie uh, circ over there. Yeah, good point. I have a point. <laughs> anyway, Shelby, you all right over there? I, I don't know what's going on. We might not be getting any of this. I mean, Shelby looks like... He's reading Mein Kampf over there. He's just like pulling his hair out. He keeps twitching. I can't tell what's going on. I thought that was a good book. 
What are you talking about? Um, but yeah, you had the you had the morning sex. So I had morning sex. But anyways, let me just get right into Key West here because yes. I was down in Key West, Key Best, Key Weird, Key Worst, whatever you call it. Sure. Well, what do you think about Key Weird as a nickname? I Some guy it, kept saying that. I was like, that sucks. It, it doesn't, doesn't rhyme. Read. People are obsessed with their sh- cities being weird. Keep Portland weird. Keep Austin weird. Why? How about make it fun or interesting or, or nice people or gay or whatever? Why weird? And once you start calling it the thing, it's not the thing anymore. You now you're just right. being weird. Now yeah. it's like, bloop, bloop, we're weird. Right. It's like when Lizzo goes, I'm so hot. You're like, you know who doesn't say they're hot is Giselle. Mm. You know, I'm just saying, like, if you have to keep telling us, maybe it's not that thing. It's like the old Margaret Thatcher joke. With, this one's very offensive now. I haven't even thought about it in a while. She said, being a woman is like being a leader. If you have to tell people you are, you probably are not. Ooh. But that one, I mean, they would fucking hang her in Mallory Square for saying that. You got that right, but I get it. It's a fun fun quote. Uh, I'm quoting. Don't, yeah. uh, you know, don't email the club or whatever. But anyway. She was a big feminist figure right? oh yeah, yeah. I mean, she ran a country for god's sake there you go I don't know my, which one but one of them yes my mom liked her <laughs> my father's gay <laughs> so anyways tom dustin's got the best and joe madows i don't want to sell madows short because he's doing a whole bunch down there too i've known both these guys my whole life isn't this weird i've known tom dustin more than half of my life Ah, oh, yeah that's how it goes it's weird he's a great guy and hilarious i mean you, you hang out with the guy and you're just dying laughing all day he's the most boston guy on the planet the 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 accent is funny the his face is funny his words are funny funny guy we're playing uh you know 20 questions down there which oh, uh, chuck, chuck thinks invented, he invented yeah. <laughs> uh which slayers have been playing it for years our whole lives but anyways you know, you, when you think you have it, you have to ask a question and narrow it down. And, sure. And I had the guy, I can't remember who it was, Emilio Estevez or something. Sarah goes, is, does he have pointy ears? And I go, no. And, and Tom Will goes, he does he want them? Because <laughs> he thought it was Spock. <laughs> oh. It was a fictional character. I don't know who the character was. I see. But it was a funny line. Does he have pointy ears? No. Does he want pointy ears? <laughs> who wants pointy <laughs> ears? Yeah, How would, would you, you narrow it down? <laughs> Anyways, funny guy. So we go down to Key West. And I'm all excited because I love Key West. Oh, Tom and I went there magical. for the first time in 2006. We were roommates inseparable back in the day. Yeah, and you got the story about it. I think you told it on the stage. We told it on the stage. It'll be up in the YouTube. It's fun. It killed. It was so fun. Tweety the bird. And uh, a whole bunch of fun lines in there. And it was quite exciting. Anyways, we go down there, and now they have a condo, so we have like a badass condo. It's like an A-frame thing, and there's a back porch, so I'm smoking cigars. Woo-wee, great time. I love it. Tom's girlfriend, Kristen, she's great. Sarah comes down with me, so it's just beautiful every day, and you know, you want to go on these adventures, so we're going swimming in the ocean, the whole thing, biking, beers, cigars, food, the whole thing. Yes. He's got a bocce set. They got bocce ball down there. Oh, I love bocce. Love a good bocce. So we go down to the bocce courts, and they're right off the beach. There's like a beach, and then the main road, and then bocce courts. So there is a beach. There's beaches, yeah. I always thought there was no beach in Key West. There's all these, I think they're man-made. Uh, I'll take that, as long as it's not woman-made. But there's a couple beaches. I found one, uh, uh, okay. Fort Zachary, uh-huh. which is an old fort from the Civil War, and then they used it for World War One, World War Two. It's a state park. They got a beach there. It's oh, beautiful. Okay, okay, good to know. Beautiful discovery down there. Then they got another big man-made one on the coast, if you can believe it. Mm. Coastal beach. Yes, love a coast. Life's a beach. I don't love a coaster. You like a coaster or you don't like a coaster? I don't love a coaster. I That's like the whole fun. table a coaster. It's fun to toss it. That's true. And they say funny things sometimes. It's like a tits on there. <laughs> That's a good coaster. That's not a bad coast. You don't we, even want to put a drink on it. We should sell coasters. Yes! You know, a nipple with a nipple ring on the back. It says, uh, you know, vote for Cuomo yeah. or whatever. <laughs> right, Not right. the homo. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? That was a Subway ad. Koch versus Cuomo. He said, vote for Cuomo, not the homo. That was a Subway ad? The Subway ad. Wow. The Subway sandwiches. What a town. <laughs> Well, yeah, the Subway sandwiches, their ads got way weirder. Hey, you like a, a tuna or a kid? We got them. $5 foot long. That guy was a fat pig, and then he lost all the weight, and then he fucked a kid. Yeah, not cool. Nah. Subpar no. behavior, if you Stay ask me. fat, yeah. Yeah. All right, but yeah, Key West, uh, I want to go down there, but I, I, the crowds are a little rowdy, mm-hmm. and... Uh, 
I just get drunk the whole time, and then I'm like, "What was? What did I do that for?" And I don't remember any of it. Well, you got to go down there. I mean, this was they they opened up the seating, they added seats. Okay. Now they're my buddy Matt Lever, who's a Tuesday. He's going down there to saw the bar in half Whoa. and move the bar. They're going to add even more seats. Whoa! I mean, this is really something down there. I remember talking to a club owner who was like, "Oh, your buddy's open to Key West. You can't do comedy in Key West. Mm. It doesn't work. Yep. I've tried it for years." And I'm like, "Well, you didn't have the secret weapon." Tom Dustin. Tom does. He's PG. the mayor down there. Hell yeah, he really is. He's every every guy who goes see. Oh, it's Tom Dustin, yes. Comedy Key West. He's one of those guys. He and he started. It was amazing because you know a lot of people go. I would say Key West is like New or- if New Orleans fucked a Red Lobster. You know because it's boozy, it's musicy, but it's beachy. Mm-hmm. You know we don't have the beach there, in New Orleans. But New Orleans is a shit comedy town. Because right. you want to get drunk, you want to party, you want to get sloppy, you want to listen to music, you want to get a guy in a headlock and fuck a lady or a cougar or whatever. And Key West is similar, yes. but it works. Yes, it's hard because they are, you do have to be a little bit party starter. Yes. Because I'm doing jokes about suicide and my father's asshole, and they're sure. like, what? Right. Because they've been drinking whatever's all day. Yeah, they got a coconut drink. They don't want to hear about uh, your therapy session. Exactly. It was one of those ones where I'm like, you ever uh, think about killing yourself? And the guy goes, No. <laughs> Literally. It's like, wow. no. And I was like, oh, well, it's just a joke anyways, but whatever. It's all jokes. Uh, pipes. But anyways, so we go down there. We go to play bocce with the bocce ball set. And I'm like, yes, let's go play bocce. I love bocce. Plus, when you have a big show, you don't want to go too crazy. Sure. You don't want to be in the sun all day, hiking, whatever. The show is almost a hindrance. You're like, exactly. The show is ruining this weekend. The show's in the way. So we take the bocce. We go down to the bocce courts. And it's wide open because we're worried about leagues, you know. Oh, wow. But no leagues today. We got the court to ourselves. We're all excited. Sarah's never played. So it's me and Sarah versus Tom and Kristen. Then we mix it up. We do boys versus girls, of course. Sure. And uh, But there's a group of – now, you know me with the homeless. I got some problems. They come after you. They got problems with me. Yeah, you got I a got no problems with them. Five head of yours. Yeah, so they're, they're all sitting over behind the court about 20 feet back, picnic bench. There's about seven of them over there. Okay. And so right when we get out, I, I'm triggered. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God, here we go with the homeless. They hate me. There's something about me. Yes. You got to look for these hobos. They don't like it. I guess. I don't know what it is, but so we go over there, and uh, I think they might be a little unstable, if you ask me, some of these guys. Uh, I can see that. Well, the drug abuse, the mental illness, the uh, no showering for six years. Right. So, but enough about Tom. So we go over to the bocce, <laughs> we go over to the bocce court, Woo! and we start the game. We start playing, and I'm having a great time. Yeah, I mean, you know me, a game I love. Love a game, competition, you're in the sun, you're, you're moving, you're shaking. Any, if you got a game, shove it right up my ass. I want to play Tennis, I love cornhole, softball, bocce ball, uh, you know, 20 questions, the movie yeah. game. Who's in my mouth, whatever it is. A- anything you want to play, I'm down. Hell yeah. I'm down, Jerry. I like to play and uh, I-, I flourish. Yes. So we're playing the bocce thing. It's a good time. And of course, I got to piss. You know me. I drink uh, 17 green teas, yeah. 48 waters a day. My father's gay. Drinking smoothie. Sure. So I'm like, I'm having a great time. We win the game, but I go, I, I got, I got to piss. And uh, for a sober guy, you piss more than a booze bag. We were talking about that. I'm like, if I drank, oh. I can't even imagine. Can you imagine? You'd have to get a diaper, a catheter, and a hobo's mouth. I would just be pissing my pants constantly. Yeah. So I go over to piss. There's a little area to piss. I thought, but it's locked, and I can oh. see all the homeless guys looking at me like, "Hey, that's our uh, couch over there." Right, right. But you're the gazelle. They've been waiting for you to break free of the pack. That's right. I'm uh, a gazelle. You got a bad leg. I'm Joey Gazelle. So I go. I come back. And I go. Listen, there's no bathroom. And then Kristen, Tom's girlfriend, she goes, "Hey, I got a piss too." Okay. So now I got a piss partner. Piss part. Love a piss partner. Yes. But then Tom rented a Jeep, and he goes, take the Jeep. And she goes, well, I've never driven a big rig Jeep thing. Big rig. And Tom goes, all right, I'll just drive. So I go. Driving to piss? We're driving to piss because we're in in the middle of nowhere. Uh, It's hobos, a a, a highway, and uh, there's like a nature preserve. I can't piss on a parrot. A who? A parrot. Ah, parrot head. Yeah. Well... I guess there's no palm tree. I guess you can't piss behind a palm tree. It's too thin. Your dick would come out the other side. Well, it's very open. Then there's the beach, and then there's the hobo. Yeah, too open. And then she's a lady, which was right. nice, because if you're a man, everyone wants you to piss. Everyone wants a man to just be able to piss everywhere. It's true. It's one of the perks. It's a perk, I guess, but I can't piss with you in the room. You got stage fright? I got mental problems. I, I can't see. come if my wife is in the room. I can't piss if you're in the room. That's going to be a problem with the wife. <laughs> 
<laughs> you might need to come in front of her, but... I can't shit unless my dad's in the room. Ah, uh-huh. that helps. Your dad is very laxative. Oh, yeah. Got the he's, mustache. He's conducive for shitting. Gets the, the parts churning. But I think, you know, we talk about women have it hard, men have it hard. One of the hard things about men is everyone expects you to be able to piss. You got a point. That's I'm like, true. I don't want to piss by a tree with fucking cars in a right. garage. <laughs> Speaking of that, I think your dad's around because I, I got a mean log cooking what here. That was a chili, a stew, a chowder. That did not sound like a log. No, no. That was a cauldron bubbling. <laughs> sounded like a log, log going over the waterfall. <laughs> that was bad. Woo, boy. <laughs> Call the paramedic because I might need a cork. Well, I, I can't go on All like right, this. I'm, I'm concerned about your well-being. I had two cups of coffee. I drank a bunch last night. I'm foggy, Jerry. Uh, yeah, bad fog. Fog. Fog of war. <laughs> Great film, McNamara. <laughs> so anyways. <coughs> a fog in the wheel. So Tom goes, I'll drive. And Sarah, she likes alone time like me because she's a psycho. So she go, I go, why don't you come along? And she goes, well, I'll watch the balls because we got all the bocce balls. Ah, uh, yes, the ball watch. So I go, all right, I feel a little nervous. We're leaving her with the hobos right yeah, over there. She's got the balls, though. They, they're weapons. Eh, I don't know about that. But so she goes, she goes, I'll just look at TikTok. Which, so we get in the van or the Jeep, drive down the street to find the bathroom. And as soon as we pull back, I'm like, what if my wife gets raped by 11 guys right now? I mean, that would be hot, but it's yeah. still a bummer. Sure, sure. And they might, they might be better than you at it. Yeah, I got to assume. Yeah. So we go, we take a piss, we go back. It's so now I'm anxious that she's going to be dead. We get back, and she's fine. She's still sitting there TikToking, but she goes, by the way, things have changed a little bit. Uh-oh. Two additional people have shown up. Oh, boy. And something happened. They all are just screaming at each other. It's like a Royal Rumble over there. Oh, wow. So they hate each other. Yeah. So all right. It's, fuck you. Fuck your mother. I've lived here for 35 years. Well, fuck you. And one of them's a woman with a pink dress and big tits. Uh-huh. And all they're right. going, get out of here. You don't know. And it's just a lot of yelling. Sure. And I don't know. I guess I'm a big bitch. I've been, I'm triggered because I've had the, the Austin incident, the Salt Lake City incident, several New York incidents. Subway, yeah. So yeah, my father's gay. So Cuomo. I'm just like, hey, why don't we just pack it up? We'll play a different game. Sure. We can go to the beach. We can play volleyball is over there. We can go to the bar. We can go to the restaurant. We can go swim in the ocean. How do you feel about this? I'm like, why keep playing bocce when there's 11... People outside of their minds screaming and swearing at each other right there. No, oh, I'm totally with you. Because also bocce, you got a couple of honkies playing bocce. It's a little triggering for them. Like, oh, exactly. these guys think they're better than us. They got a Jeep. They have to leave to piss. So what do they think they are? Some uh, elite uh, class bullshit, you know? So they're, they're going to get mad at you because they hate themselves. And now you think you're better than me with plus, your bocce? Plus, my enjoyment level has... Huh, all uh, the way down here now, yes, because yes. there's hornets in the car. It's yes. like somebody tossed a hornet's nest into the Jeep and then closed the roof. So true, but these hornets smell like feces. Yeah, so it's a, whole, up. it's a whole thing, so there's all this screaming, and I'm trying to go, you know what, it's over there, but now Bocce, they're behind, every time we're on this side of the court, we have mm-hmm. our back to them. Uh, I don't like my back to somebody. No, get out of there. I'm with you. There's, what, what, are you going to fight 12 guys covered in AIDS? What's like, the point? Thank you. You always... Get me. Yeah, I mean, I like the tits and the pink dress, but hey, you can't win them all. Sacrifice the tits. So now I got to roll, and I immediately stand over here so I can keep an eye on my wife's ass sure. and make sure no one's uh, shoving anything in there. So yeah, then yeah. we're playing. I'm trying to keep it cool. Nobody else can because they're all Key Wested out. They're uh-huh. like, don't worry about it, man. Right. They got that Key West vibe. Right. I got the grew up in, in Boston living in New York vibe. Oh, yeah. Neurotic on edge. Uh. Well, here's my other thing, and maybe you can speak to this, too, because- Part of it's like, is this because my parents are pussies? But also, I'm like, <laughs> my whole, from 18 on, for the seven years, I was hanging out in Boston, and like, every night, there was a melee. Same. A bottle same. in the fa- I saw a guy smash a bottle in a guy's face. Oh, yeah. I saw a guy knocked out, and the guy just kept punching him uh, in the yes, face. Yes, yes. So I know where shit can go. Oh, yeah. And, I, and these guys have no governor. You know, they're not going to go, well, we should ratchet it down a notch. They're going to pick up a bocce ball and shove it right in your pee hole. They don't give a fuck. That's how I feel. So at the first sign of yell, I'm like, ah, we'll just go to a different place. And well, it's not them. What's the upside? Let's say you do fight this guy. You beat him up. You nick a knuckle. Now you got AIDS. You know, it's, you're going to beat up a hobo? This guy's deranged. <laughs> I don't know. They're deranged. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense. There's no upside. And if you're not having fun, <laughs> let's go out and have fun around our own, uh, you know, brethren with homes. So that's how I feel. Now, keep an eye out where this goes. Uh-oh. 
So now we're Bachi, the lady in the pink dress, the new hobo, who I'm not even sure is a hobo or if she's just a Samaritan. I don't want to say good. You never hear about Samaritans. They're not good. That's true. There's a bad Samaritan, right? They're mediocre Samaritans. Right, right. An okay Samaritan. There's got to be some regular Samaritans well, walking out there. what is a there. Samaritan? I have no idea. Is it like a civilian? I don't know. Because if it's a Samaritan, why do we need the good? If Samaritan means good, why do you need the good? It's like Tweety the Bird. Hey, uh, what's your name again? Shelby, can we get on that? What's uh, what's Samaritan? What the fuck does that mean? Give it a goog. Oh, boy. Oh, you you already on that? Wow. A person who is generous in helping those in distress. See? Yeah. It's a, it's a, what do you call, redundant. See, I'm the opposite of a Samaritan. Because I'm like, they're in distress. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah. I'm a shit Samaritan. Right. Interesting. Then it's humanitarian. Anything Tarian is good. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. Pedophile Tarian. Yeah, I don't know. Pterodactyl. Yeah. Tarian is good. Boston Tarian. Uh huh. Uh, so listen to this. So now Please. we're playing bocce. We're on this end of the court. When I'm on this end of the court, I'm not as worried because I can yes. see we got a, a good 75 feet. But when that in the court, now our backs to them were close. Okay. And there's all kinds of screaming going on. One of the guys comes over. He sits on the bench next to us. Oh, uh, you see? But he feels like a guy who's been shamed by the one antagonist. Okay. So this guy sits next to us. He's just going, you can do it. You can do it. He's like uh, one of those guys. So I'm like, okay, okay. He seems all right. But you this never is how know. It starts. It can change quickly. Change. So then the pink dress lady with the huge tits comes over, and she's carrying a pipe like this long. It's all pipes. A corkscrewy pipe pipe i don't even know what this was for oh boy and she goes hey just to let you know he's threatening to come over here and beat you guys with this whoa you gotta call the cops you should call the cops whoa he says turned he wants to beat all the tourists he's swearing and you better call the cops and i go i'm like all right that's a wrap (laughs) you guys win uh grab the balls leave the balls i don't care i'm I'm ready to run home my my underwear is filled with shit sure sure and you called it you you profiled you judged, and you were correct. Yeah, well, they didn't see it that way. My friends, who I love more than life itself, are like, eh, we're not too worried about them. Don't worry. They thought she was nuts. I thought she was my mother. I was yes. like, thank God. I wanted to give her a piggyback home and eat her out with cowboy boots on. She's a great Samaritan. She's a good Mother <laughs> Teresa. She's a messenger. But she's like, okay, suit yourself. And I understand she's probably a nut, too. Maybe she's cuckoo. I don't know. But that's enough warning. I'll heed that. I'll heed. I love a heed. Yes. My, my best friend's a heed. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm like, all right, that's the end of the game, right? And, and Tom's like, it's 7-4. What are you talking about? Uh, and I'm like, come on, pipes, Jerry. Yes, yeah, she has a pipe, literally. It, it's it's a, all pipes. It's corkscrew. What are you, crazy? Heed, heed. And uh, they're like, ah, don't worry about it. And now every, the cheese stands alone. Everybody, he's scattered everybody because they're uh-huh. all afraid of him. So now it's just this one guy, and he's on the, the bench like a gargoyle. Really watching us. Oh, if it heeds, it bleeds. I, I'm just like, okay. So now I'm like, your turn. Like I, I roll it like this. I'm 40 feet from the Bellino or the balloon knot, whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> and I just go, okay, let's move down the other side. Yeah. And I'm like adding. Every time we keep score, I'm adding points. I'm like, I think it's 10 and 8 you. And yeah, like, it's you four win. to 3. I'm like, right. I don't know. I think it was 10. <laughs> right. Uh, so you can't enjoy. It, no enjoy. The whole thing's ruined. This guy's got a bad vibe. You can feel the vibe. He's staring a hole in the back of your anal. Get out of there. That's how I felt. And as soon as we packed up and got in the Jeep, I was like, whew. And now I'm back to to Joe again. Yes, Joe's back. Good to have you back. The sun, the breeze, the thing. I'm like, yes. And like I said, it's not like this. we're in uh, wherever where there's one thing to do. I'm like, we could water ski. We could jet ski. We could uh, scuba dive. We could go air. Plane, hangers, whatever. Sure, sure. What, what's that one? Parasail. Yeah, Tom and I did that way back. It's pretty... Uh, Is it boring? It's pretty gay. It's pretty boring. I'd rather a pair of tits, but it just feels like once you're up there, you're like, now what? Yeah, well, the thing is, it it folds up because of the... Uh, umbra- so you're really crammed in there, mm. and you're like knee to ass flush tight like yeah. this, and there's no action. Right. I need a thrill. There's no I, thrill. I guess it's a view... There's a good view, but that, that television program stinks. And you're, sure, whoopee. It's a view, but you're like this. Well, that's something. Yeah. So it's okay. All right, I'm more of a right. jet ski guy. I want to... Love a jet ski. Boy, that's not... I feel guilty jet skiing because I have so much fun. Is that, mm-hmm. that's, that's something with the childhood. But I'm I like, think I so. shouldn't be allowed to be having this much fun. Who am I? Who am I? Fucking, uh, you know, Bernie Madoff? Why am I allowed to do this? You think he had fun? 
Oh, yeah. What are you kidding? I never read too much about him. Oh, don't you love when a name lands perfect, like Madoff? Oh, yeah. You never you never caught that? No, I never made off. Bernie Madoff, uh, Anthony Weiner. Uh-huh. There's a couple that just <laughs> fall right on it. Yeah, that's pretty good. I had another one. I lost it. Well, there's the shitter guy. What's his name? John John Dump. John uh, Dump. <laughs> I don't know him. He sounds fun. <laughs> the, guy, the guy that invented the toilet, his name is Shitter. Oh, like that. I think it's John Crapper. Is that what it is? I think it's John Crapper. So you got John and Crapper. Yeah, it's something like that. John uh, Shithouse. Get that a Goog there, Shelter. Yeah. I think it's Stevie Byrne, uh, Dirty Butt, something like that. I think it is Crapper. <laughs> I think it's John Crapper. And then there's Dick and you, Trickle. And you go to the John. Yes, Dick Butkus. There's a couple out there that are, that are dead smack on that are just beautiful. What about this an old Red Sox player? His name is Four Body Parts. Tony Armas. Toe, knee, arm, ass. Whoa. Pretty good. Blew my mind. <laughs> That's great. Shelby, what do we got? There's Thomas Crapper. Ah, Tommy Crap. Close. Well, close. the John's out, but whatever. They called him John, I bet. <laughs> they might have called him Crap. You know what's the, the tough one is a, a guy who gets hookers is a John. Oh, right. That was confusing as a kid. His mm-hmm. name's John? No, he is a John. What do you mean he is a John? You know, I and didn't then get it. Pissing the John. Yes. I got to go to the John. Right. The guy that gets hookers? Exactly. It was a lot to, to process. Thank God we're not kids anymore because you just had to take it, all this information, and not understand anything. And then if you asked a question, my dad would hit me. Yeah, it's very confusing. Yeah, but you live, you learn, you queef, you jizz. Yep. That's the key. Apparently, I got a miscarriage of bubbling because that did not sound good, and it was very warm. No, it's bad news bears. Oh, oh Jesus, Jesus Christ. Oh, hey, Jesus. Uh, but anyways, Key West was amazing. I had some other shit, but I mean, we're, we're going long. I feel terrible about even talking politics for a second. I hate myself. Too. But uh, Fort Zachary jumped in the ocean. Uh, the salt water, it heals. heals. And it's hard to be back. I, I miss Tom. We had a great time, great laughs, so many good laughs, and just... Oh, it was beautiful. Great time. I, I had a fun little nugget, that, and I'll get out of here on this. 5 a.m. pickup out of Fort Wayne this weekend. Mm. Really kicked you in the ball, and I found the perfect sleep remedy for me. I take an edible at night, and I just oh, I, nice. I sleep all throughout the night. I was always against edibles. I'm not a weed guy, but it works. Mm. So I couldn't fall asleep, so I popped the edible, and now... You know, it's one of those things where you fall asleep at 2, and you wake up at 4.30 to get ready to pack and everything. Uh, so I'm still high. Ah. So I'm like, ah, I'm high. You hate being high. I feel like an idiot. I'm lost. I'm insecure. I'm nervous. But I'm walking out of the hotel room. Door slams behind me. I got the suitcase. Sun is still down. It's nighttime. I, I can hear drunks in the hotel room because it's still five. I guess they're still partying. Walk past one room. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, ah. I love that. And I just stood outside the door for like... Eight minutes. I didn't read because I was high. Right. So I was wow. just like, I'm holding my bag, just like, oh yeah, oh, do it to me. Oh, and I was like, yeah. wow. and I just stood out there and listened. It was so great. Oh my god, glass on the thing. I had no glass, no but glass. It was, I didn't need one. And this lady was bolting, belting. Oh, that's so exciting. I love that. Did you hear any rant, rant, or the bed hitting the post? A couple thumps. I think I was a thump. It was a bed or a head or a pipe. I don't know what was going on. Maybe her butt plug fell out and hit the floor. But either way, it was uh, it was it was porn. Oh, I love that. That's so fun. Somebody else fucking is amazing. I remember walking up 37th Street in Astoria and seeing a guy really pounding. You just saw the two feet. In the Lion. window? Yeah, in wow. the window. And he was kind of ripped, which strangely makes it hotter. Of course, of yeah. course. Yeah, you just want to see the lady having a good time. You know, that's all you want. Some of these guys watch pornos where they pull the lady's hair and punch her in the clit. And I'm like, I want her to like it. Yeah, I, I like a uh, lady just going, Wee! you know, whatever. Yeah. Really coming. Yes, come. I want the leg shake with the thigh jiggle. Give me the whole thing. Mm-hmm. So... But yeah, then I got on the plane and connected a flight. It was a nightmare. But we made it home, but it was just fun to hear the fuck. And I thought of you. I don't know if that's healthy. I appreciate it. Well, I like to fuck and get fucked by my dad. So I think that's great news. All right. And you're going to be on the road. Yeah, I'm going out there, folks. Well, first of all, we got to plug the Patreon. We've been really working hard. Tell them about the Patreon. What'd you please? We got a ton of stuff. We do one a week now. We got games. We got videos. We got reviews. We got anal. We got all kinds of good stuff. Live eps. Tons of backlog stuff, by the way. Even if you sign up today, you're going to be 
three years behind, full of shit. So if the world ends, get on that Patreon. There's a lot of content, great stuff. We got mugs, we got shirts. The cat's dead. We're going to stuff it. So get on it, folks. Three bucks. You can't beat it, but give us five. Bug Costanza. Uh, Tampa Side Splitters, March 24th and 26th, coming back to Florida. I love Florida, and uh, I love Tampa. So come out to Side Splitters. Let's fill that right up. And then uh, I got the big ones coming. April is uh, Laugh Boston, April 14th through 16th. And then Buffalo the following weekend, 21 through 23. And then after that, I got, oh, my God, I got uh, May 5th through the 7th, Austin Side Splitters. The weekend after that, I think it was 12 through 14 or something, Good Nights in Raleigh. Hell, yeah. And uh, the, the, the special, I think, is going to come out the end of April. Oh, I forget the date. that's huge. That's going to be April 29th, I believe. I it's love tentative, it. But uh, it's all cut together. Woo! I got the... The credits and the music and the thing. It's cut. I got all kinds of shit in the can. I got a special. Ah, I got a film coming. Ah. I got a short film, a special, and then a whole bunch more uh, YouTube shit. Get on the YouTube. Tom, Dustin, and I telling our Key West stories up on there. And, uh, yeah, you gotta I watched it. Familiarize yourself with Tom, Dustin. He's the best. The best. It. Funniest guy. And, yeah, you're cooking. The content is cooking. The videos are cooking. I mean, you're rolling, Fatty. I'm trying. I'm the new king of content. I got video. I got three different video guys working for me, emailing me, sending me. Hell, yeah. Picks. That's uh, Sadly, that's the name of the game now. It's a nightmare. It's a lot of work. It never ends. It's a ball up a hill. You want to kill yourself. But it'll sell one more ticket. So who the hell knows? All right. All right. I'm going to be all over the place, too. I'm in Tampa, Dania Beach Improv, Chicago, Cleveland, Durham, uh, Charlottesville at the Southern, a couple theater dates cooking. We got uh, uh, shit in my mouth. Doing so. Denver, uh, Queef, Dallas. Uh, I'm just picturing the U.S. and trying to remember where Phoenix. Trying to remember where I am. So, yeah, a lot of fun stuff. D.C., Come on out, say hello, queef it up, get on the Patreon, and praise Allah.